One of the biggest and known as the pioneer of streaming services, Netflix has shown the world what it can do. But this giant streaming service appears to be slowly falling. And in April 2022, 200,000 users were lost. What happened to this giant? And why is it falling? Today at Finance Per, we'll find out the story of Netflix. But for more videos about finance, technology, and business, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. So how did Netflix start in the first place? Netflix, the brainchild of Mark Randolph and Reed Hastings, was established in 1997 and initially operated as a DVD rental service, similar to Blockbuster. Netflix's innovative approach included a subscription model that allowed customers to rent DVDs online, receive them by mail, and return them without late fees. In the early 2000s, Netflix experienced rapid growth, and by 2007, it had shipped its billionth DVD. However, the company was quick to recognize the shifting landscape of media consumption as high-speed internet became more widespread. In response, Netflix pivoted to online streaming, offering a vast library of movies and TV shows for instant streaming. This strategic shift marked a pivotal moment in Netflix's history, as it transitioned from a DVD rental service to a leader in the emerging era of digital streaming. And with the introduction of original content like House of Cards, Stranger Things, and Orange is the New Black, Netflix solidified its position as a major player in the entertainment industry. It expanded globally, becoming available in numerous countries and languages, and amassed tens of millions of subscribers worldwide. But a storm was looming over the distance, and Netflix had more and more competition. Other companies, both small and very big, decided to get into the streaming business. Apple, with its vast resources and established brand, launched Apple TV Plus to directly compete with Netflix. This new platform sought to entice viewers with exclusive and high-quality content. Simultaneously, NBC Universal's Peacock aimed to reclaim some of its classic sitcoms from Netflix while introducing its own original programming. HBO Max, another heavyweight contender, made a significant impact with its extensive library of content, including critically acclaimed shows like Succession and Game of Thrones. However, the biggest competitor was Disney+, Plus, which not only offered a vast array of beloved classic content, but also harnessed the power of the Marvel and Star Wars franchises to attract a massive audience. In April 2022, Netflix surprised its investors with some bad news. They said they lost 200,000 subscribers in just three months. Now, that might not sound like a big deal, but it was the first time in 10 years that this happened. Because of this, many people who own Netflix stocks got really worried. The price of Netflix's stocks dropped a lot. In fact, the stock price fell so much that Netflix's total value was now 70% less than it used to be when it was at its best. Some shareholders were so upset that they went to court saying that Netflix's leaders had given them the wrong information about how well the company was doing. This was a tough time for Netflix, losing subscribers, a big drop in stock prices, and even a lawsuit from unhappy shareholders. It made people wonder if Netflix had some serious problems and if they could bounce back from all of this. Before we continue, if you like this video, for more topics about finance, technology, and business, leave a like and comment down what you think was the main factor on Netflix's fall. Consider subscribing to for more amazing videos. Now, back to the video. So what could have been the reason for this subscriber loss? Netflix said the reason they lost subscribers was because of a bunch of things. First, 
They talked about how there are now more streaming services competing with them. People also started going back to work after the pandemic, so they had less time to watch Netflix. Another thing was that Netflix decided to stop offering its service in Russia due to the war, which meant they lost some customers. But these are just some of the reasons. There are other problems too. Some people say the shows and movies on Netflix aren't as good as they used to be. And they're sad because Netflix often cancels their favorite series after just one or two seasons. Plus, Netflix has been raising its prices a lot, so it's not as affordable for many families as it used to be. To make things even more confusing, Netflix is planning to offer a cheaper version with ads, which is a change from how they used to do things. All of these challenges are making people wonder if Netflix can figure out how to keep its customers happy. Now, we are not sure what's going to happen to Netflix in the future. Can it change and stay strong when there are so many other streaming services competing with it? Or has it already made as much money as it can? Some people even think that there are too many choices for streaming now, and it's becoming a problem. Like when there were too many video games in 1983, and it all crashed. But no matter what happens, Netflix's story is a lesson for everyone in the world of digital entertainment. It started by shaking things up and changing how we watch shows and movies. But now, it's the one facing changes and challenges. It's like a reminder that the world is always changing. And even the biggest and best companies have to keep changing too. Or they might not be on top anymore. And just like Netflix, the world is changing too. Global warming poses a threat to humanity. But how do we solve this? And where do we start? Elon Musk, along with Tesla and SpaceX, appears to have the solution. If you want to find out more, check out our other videos. But for more videos about finance, technology, and business, don't forget to check out our channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click that notify bell for upcoming videos. For now, this is Finance Spur. Have a great day.